Jeg elsker den film. Jeg elsker den film. I love that movie. Jeg elsker den film. Min yndlingsfilm er... Min yndlingsfilm er... My favorite movie is... Some of you might feel tempted to say favoritfilm. We do say favorit in Danish, but we use yndlings a lot more. Right? Especially in these compound words. Så so, yndlingsfilm. Min yndlingsfilm er... And then whatever it is. Næste. Det jeg bedst kan kunne lige ved den er var. Det jeg bedst kan kunne lide ved den er var. What I like or liked the most about it is or was. So you see I'm changing a little bit here between the tenses. Right? But that depends if you're talking in the present or the past. So you just have to sort of decide on that first. Det er bedst kan lide. Det er bedst kunne lide. And then you have er and var here at the end. All right, next step. Den har en god historie. Den har en god historie. It has a good story. Yeah. Historie. And historie both means uh, story and history in Danish. So that's kind of cool. Well, for us it's cool. Den har en god historie. And then... Ja, soundtracket er rigtig godt. Soundtracket er rigtig godt. The soundtrack is really good. Yeah, so we do use the English word soundtrack. And I even apply Danish grammar here. Right? Like track, like it's it soundtrack. Of course, you could say musiken. And then would be musiken er rigtig god. Um, but specifically, when it's about a movie, we tend to say soundtrack, just like in English. So, soundtrack is really good. Okay, next. Now, you gotta put a name here first. Du, 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 du. Spiller so good. Spiller so good. Acts or plays so well. Right? Spiller is, well, it's play in a lot of contexts like uh, computer games or sports or anything. But it's also act when we're talking about movies and stuff like that. Spiller. Spiller så godt. Yeah. Okay, næste. Fortjener en Oscar. Fortjener en Oscar. Deserves an Oscar. Right? Pretty straightforward. Fortjener is deserve. Fortjener en Oscar. Beautiful. Næste. Now, this is a long one, but it's not that hard. Someone, someone. En virkelig dygtig skuespiller og skuespillerinde. Du, du, du. Er en virkelig dygtig skuespiller, skuespillerinde. Someone, someone. Is a really good, skilled actor, actress. So, yeah, skuespiller is actor, and that's a man. And skuespiller inde is actress. It's very common in Danish that you have this inde at the end that makes it female. Eh? We don't have it for everything, but we do have it with some. And this is one of these examples. So, skuespiller or skuespiller inde. That's how it is. Someone, someone. En virkelig dygtig skuespiller skuespiller inde. 
er ikke en særlig god skuespiller. Skuespillerinde er ikke en særlig god skuespiller. Skuespillerinde is not a very good actor or actress. Like so, you know, you pick an actor here, and then you're like, they're not good, right? Then you can say this. It's a polite way of saying it. Of course, there are also harsher ways you can say that they suck, but uh, I'm not gonna focus on that today. Dot dot dot. Er ikke en særlig god skuespiller. Er skuespiller inde? Historien plottet holder ikke helt. Historien plottet holder ikke helt. The story or plot doesn't really hold up. Right? Or like you watch the movie, but it's just so thin. Like the plot, the story is just, uh, there's no substance. Or it's incoherent. Then you can say this. Holder ikke helt. Yeah. Historien og plottet holder ikke helt. Næste. Har du set den nye film med... Har du set den nye film med... Or just, har du set den nye med... Right? You don't have to say film, because... The new is like the new one. So... We get it from the context. Have or did you watch or seen the new movie with whoever it is? But notice that we say how to say it. This is present perfect. Sort of like if I want to know if someone has already done something like it's on their uh, record, so to speak, then I use present perfect and not the past. Right? I wouldn't say so to the new film. I could, but that would be like, oh, like yesterday when you went to the theater or you went somewhere, did you do that? And in that specific time frame, but not so much on your record. Like if you have experience with uh, with doing something, or it's already taken care of, that kind of stuff. Har du set den nye film med... Okay, moving on. Nej, 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 nej. Jeg har ikke set den endnu. Jeg har ikke set den endnu. I didn't watch it yet. Jeg har ikke set den endnu. Very good. Næste. Ja, jeg var i biografen i går. Jeg var i biografen i går. I was at the movie theater yesterday. Jeg var i biografen i går. Okay, nice, nice. Den har lige fået og haft premiere. Den har lige fået og haft premiere. It just premiered, like it just opened. It's very new, very fresh. Den har lige fået haft premiere. Skal du også se den? Skal du også se den? Are you going to see or watch it too? Skal du også se den? Uh, we could play around here, you know, add some different dialects and intonations. You know, we could say like, skal du også se den? Skal du også se den? Skal du også se den? Like now, of course, I'm um, almost making a parody here, but it's just to show that, depending who you're talking to, you might get different intonation or dialect. Right? Den er baseret på en sand historie. Den er baseret på en sand historie. It's based on a true story. Yeah. Baseret. That's based. And uh, please pay attention with the pronunciation here. So you don't say baseret. Like 
I see this sometimes with my students. They sort of uh, contract it like seer, like it's just one syllable, but it's not. It's besseal, like, or any other verb really. This eal, like, or erot, but you don't have to say the r. You got some freedom there. Then a besseal, it's based pull in san historia on a true story. Okay, next. Det er den første, anden, tredje film i trilogien. Det er den første, anden, tredje film i trilogien. It's the first, second, third movie in the trilogy. This is good if you need to practice counting ordinal numbers in Danish. I know some learners still struggle with that. You gotta know at least some of them. First, anden. And so on. I could also say Fia Femme de Chere but then it's not a trilogy anymore.